Chandu, the magician. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, the makers of White King Granulated Soap present for your enjoyment, Chandu, the magician. But before our story begins, we would like to ask a question. Do you shudder when you see the price tags on sheets and towels these days? Then those high prices are one reason for giving all your household linens White King Wash Day Care. White King has been a good washing machine soap, a good wash day soap for 30 years. Today, it is better than ever, actually improved in quality. You will like White King because it dissolves so quickly and completely in your wash water. Because it makes quantities of suds that eagerly wash off surface dirt and wash out hidden dirt. And White King washes so quickly and so gently, it protects your household linens, keeps them new looking longer. Just try White King. We know you'll say, I love that soap. In the hotel suite of the mysterious Sonia Radislav in Cairo, Dorothy Regent is suddenly confronted with Roxor, whose sinister plans are now complete. He has brought Sonia to Cairo, knowing she will kill Chandler rather than see him marry Naji. And Dorothy is to be taken to her husband in the hidden room known as the Place of Silence. There, Regent will be forced, under threat of Dorothy's death, to disclose his long-kept secret formula. And Roxor adds that even Bob and Betty have fallen into his hands. Suddenly, there is a knock at the door. Sonia opens it to Chandler and Naji. Infuriated, Sonia shoots blindly, and Roxor shouts that she has hit not Chandler, but Naji. Chandu, the magician. You will stay where you are, Sonia. You cannot move nor speak. Oh, Frank, hurry. Naji's badly hurt. I'll have her out of here in a minute. Chandu, Roxor. We ran outside when Sonia fired. Sonia, open your hand. Drop the gun. Drop it. Oh. We'll get a doctor right away, Naji. Not here. Not here. Take me home. I will, darling. Frank, Sonia's eyes. She looks like a wild animal. Sleep, Sonia. Listen to the music and sleep. When I release you, you will leave Cairo today. You will never return. And no matter what Roxor says, no matter how much you wish to help him, from this moment you never will again. Now, Dot. I'll call the doctor. There may be one right here in the hotel. No, no, we'll take her home. But you can't just carry her through the lobby downstairs. Nobody will see her. I'll take her home in my own way. Golly, I wish Uncle Frank would come back. Or about two. We've been in the shop almost two hours. You know, it wouldn't take Uncle Frank all that time to go to the hotel and back. I suppose I've gummed things up again. He was all ready to go and get Dad when we showed up. No, he wasn't, Bob. He was waiting for Ami Mikhail to come and tell him where Ben Ali took Daddy. And nobody's been here. Doggone it. If you weren't with me, I'd go back to the hotel and see what gives. Well, let's both go. Uncle Frank wouldn't expect us to stay here forever. No, oh, I can see myself walking you through this part of town after what he said about me bringing you here. And it was daylight then. Oh. Gosh, I'm hungry. I could eat a camel. There's Ami Mikhail now. Well, that's at the back door. Oh, what of it? Oh, don't 
Don't open the door, Bats. It must be Army Mikhail, Bob. You stay away from that door till I see who it is. Well, ask who it is. And give it away that we're here alone? No, why'd I ever bring you down here? I can take care of myself, Bob. I'm going to peek through the shutters and see who's out there. We'd better blow out the candles. There's nobody there, Beth. Oh, let me see. Oh, Bob, look down, down there. Holy Moses. It's that dwarf, a ringer. But he shut up in that little room at Naji. No, he must have wiggled out somehow. Oh. There can't be two guys like him. I'm scared to death of him, Bob. I don't blame you. I could handle him, but he might not be alone. There might be a flock of Roxo's Arabs just around the corner. What shall we do? Come back into the shop. Watch it now. Don't fall over anything. Okay. You want to take a chance and run for it? You don't think he could get in here with both doors bolted? If he could get out of that room where Abu put him, he could get in anywhere. You know I can run, Bob. Now, where is that? Oh, what are you doing? I'm trying to find the bolt on this door. Oh. I'm going to slide it back and ease the door open. Oh, hurry up. Arnie might come around to the front. Jeepers, that's right. Oh, oh here it is. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Here we go, Beth. Run! Sit down, Chandu. You heard what the doctor said? It is not so serious. You did it deliberately, didn't you? You think I put myself in the way of the gun? I know you did. Sonia meant that shot for me. Naji, it's a miracle you weren't killed. If one of us was to die... Don't say that. I should have brought you home before I went there. Or at least left you down in the lounge. But when I met you in the native quarter with that letter, I couldn't let you out of my sight. Please, Chandu. I told you I knew the letter was not from you. But then why... I thought Raksor and Ben Ali might have overpowered you. In spite of... Oh, my darling. No, Chandu, no. Well, this once, you're going to listen, my dear. This time you can't run away. Oh, if only I could tell you. Chandu, even the yogi has said He I... only said I wasn't to ask about the secret you're keeping. But I don't care about that. Chandu, when I met you years ago, I had long known such loneliness as you cannot imagine. And for one moment, I allowed myself to forget. You loved me even then. That wouldn't tell me so. I do not tell you now. Don't shake your head, darling. I know what loneliness is. It was my life for ten long years. I know. I can't regret that because of what I learned. But those years are over now. And you and I... Do you think I would marry you knowing what I know? It could lead to nothing but sorrow for you. And that is a thing I could not bear. Darling, you've let this secret, whatever it is, grow in your mind until it's like a ghost standing between us. You know better than to allow that to happen. Look at me now, Jane. No. No, please. Say you love me. I must not. Say it. I love you, John Doe. But this must end now. It must never end, Marjorie. Oh, Miss Dorothy, do not tell her. Well, she'll know it as soon as she looks at me. But I can wait now. Come in, Doc. Frank, will you come here a minute? Why, Marjorie, you're as white as a ghost. Here, drink this. I wonder if I ought to call Dr. Ventura. Uh, no, Dorothy. Thank you. Oh, I am better now. What did you want, Don? You look like the cat that ate the canary. <laughs> I feel like it in spite of everything. What did you want? I have something to talk to you about, but not here. Nodji ought to rest. Well, that's right. We'll look in again in a little while, Nodji. And our booze just outside the door if you want anything. I will need nothing, Dorothy. Thank you. What is it? Come into my room. 
Oh, poor Dot. You've been through a bad time this afternoon. That's just what I want to talk to you about. Sit down. All right. Frank, I've decided to go home. You what? I mean it. I've never realized until this afternoon, in spite of all we know about Roxor. Well, who'd ever have expected Sonia, of all people, to show up in this thing? Oh, that's just it. I can't take a chance on anything like that happening again. It won't, Dot. Imagine Robert expecting every minute you're coming for him and then to have me brought in and... Was that what Roxo was going to do? Oh, I thought I told you. He was going to offer Robert one last chance to give up that formula or, well, as he puts it, some very unpleasant things would happen to me right before Robert's eyes. I see. Well, I can't blame you, Dot. Have you uh, told Bob and Betty about going home? No, I'm going to tell them now. Well, I haven't seen them since we brought Najee in. Where are they? Why, I don't know. They surely wouldn't go out again. Are you sure they came back from that shop? I told Batouche to bring them here as soon as... Wait a minute. Abu, have you seen my sister's children since we brought the princess home? They are not in the house, Effendi. What? Well, go downstairs and see, Abu. I'll answer that. You see where they are. Uh, look in the garden. Well, I'll come down, too. Well, they must be here somewhere. We'd hear them if they were. Hmm. Hello? Alexandria? Yes, put them on. Yousef? What? Are you sure? That's just what Roxo would do. He knew I had something else on my mind. Did you find out where they were going? Be sure, Yousef. All right. That's that. Thanks. Frank, what is it? Where are they? It wasn't about Bob and Betty. It was about... We met! Why, Max, I laughed. Oh. I, I felt as if arrows were breathing down my neck all the way. Well, where on earth have you been? Well, where do we get our breath? That dwarf's loose somewhere. Here. I know he got in. A rainier. Sure. Oh, never mind a rainier now. What was that telephone call about? Roxo knew we'd be busy with Najee, and he's moved fast. That's why Batouche didn't show up again. And I mean Mitkayo. Oh, you mean Roberts and Alexandria? Oh. Yes. But Roxor's chartered a small boat there, and he's going to slip out of the harbor before dawn. For Pete's sake, where's he taking Dad now? Roxor has an obsession about that place. I might have guessed it. What place? Dot, he's taking Robert back to Malta. <laughs> And now, before we say goodnight for Chandu the Magician, we have a bedtime story for all you mothers of small babies. A true story about White King granulated soap. We do not have to tell you that babies require lots of diapers, and that diapers require lots of washing in rich, gentle soap suds. That means that mothers require lots of White King. Because the very same soap you like so much for washing clothes and dishes is safe for washing baby diapers, too. In fact, it is so very safe that many maternity wards of hospitals suggest that mothers use White King for washing baby clothes. White King suds are gentle suds. They wash baby clothes sweet and clean. And then all the soil and all the soap suds are rinsed away freely and completely in your rinse water. Yes, just as surely as you love your baby, you will love White King for washing baby clothes. Chandu the Magician is produced and directed by Cyril Armbrister. Frank Chandler is played by Tom Collins... Najee is played by Viola Bond. The makers of White King invite you to listen tomorrow at this time when the story resumes. Chandu, the magician. This is the Mutual Don Lee Broadcasting System.